Hi, my name is David A. Wheeler. This is an introduction to MetaMath LAMP. So, what are, what's MetaMath LAMP? Well, that implies you need to know what MetaMath is. Uh, I'm going to read this quote for you. Uh, MetaMath is a simple and flexible computer processable language that supports rigorously verifying, archiving, and presenting mathematical proofs. So, this is all about making sure that math proofs are actually true, as well as archiving them, presenting them. Metamath itself is extremely simple. It is not tied to any particular axioms. Uh, instead, if you want to use a particular set of axioms, uh, you put those in a database, as well as a bunch of proven theorems based on those axioms. And the term database here just means a text file. Um, the most popular database by far is SetMM, but there's many others. Uh, Metamath proof steps are only axioms or previously proved theorems. This is really different from almost all other systems. Most of the systems, uh, you say simplify or blast or similar kinds of statements, and you ask the computer to find a proof, and it, it tells you if it found one, and you hope it was right. Metamath's different. Metamath pulls up the rigor to 11. Every step has to be justified by an axiom or an already proven theorem. Many tools support Metamath. It doesn't require a particular canonical tool. I have another video about MMJ2, another proof assistant, uh, uh, but I think that's actually a strength. It's not tied to any one tool. An amazing thing about Metamath is that proofs stay proven. Because the axioms and everything else aren't built into the tool itself, you can change definitions, you can change axioms uh, without necessarily replacing anything else. Metamath is one of the top systems in the Formalizing 100 Theorems Challenge. Now that I've explained what Metamath is, let's talk about Metamath LAMP. Math, Metamath LAMP is a proof assistant for Metamath. You don't need to install anything with Metamath LAMP. You can just use your web browser. And it works really well on smartphones, as I'll talk more about in a moment. Finally, Metamath LAMP is open source software. Specifically, it's released under the MIT license. Here's a screenshot of what it looks like when you're using Metamath LAMP. I'm just going to talk briefly from top to bottom. At the top, you'll notice a little loaded statement. Basically, that tells us our context. What database are we using? Are we using SetMM, are we, which is based on classical logic and set theory? Are we using iSetMM, which is intuitionistic logic? Maybe we're using HOL, Hall. Maybe we're using new foundations, but this will tell us the database we're using. Uh, then there's a tab bar right underneath that. Are we changing our settings of the tool? Are we using its editor? Maybe we're exploring a database. Underneath that, if you're using the editor, as we are right now, there's the editor command icon bar. This is a bunch of icons that let us manipulate the proof. Then there's some fundamental proof information, like the description, and then the proof steps. This is the meat of creating a proof is identifying the steps you need from the information you know already to the goal. One interesting thing about Metamath LAMP is that you can generate visualizations to help you understand what each step is doing. Much more documentation is available at https colon slash slash lamp-guide.metamath.org. 